Okay, good evening and welcome to the December 2nd, 2013 City Council meeting. We'll call the meeting to order. And first on our agenda, Sarah Tiemann, fifth grader at Sanger Ridge, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ms. Tiemann? That's what I'm about to do. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Hi, Sarah. I'm glad you're with us tonight. Thank you very much. Would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? You're in fifth grade at Sanger. What, who's your favorite teacher and what's your favorite subject? Uh, my favorite teacher is Miss Queen because she's my homeroom and she's very fun. And then my favorite subjects are probably all of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Smart girl. There we go. There we go. What do you like to do when you're not in school? I like to read and do a lot of crafts. <coughs> That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. You guys have any questions for Sarah? Did you craft your necklace? Nope. No. Nope. I've got it from Claire's. <laughs> Got it. That's wonderful. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here. It's, it's, it's a great honor to have you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got all something to say thank you. proclamations we do have the consent docket items a through c does anyone wish to remove anything from the consent docket i move approval so apparently we'll take after that. second I have a motion a second to approve the consent docket <clears throat> and that is approved five to zero and it'll take us down to public hearings. And our first public hearing is a uh, public comment regarding the <coughs> proposed telecommunication tower. We have good notice, Mr. Dorman? Yes, sir. Thank you. Ms. Dennison. Good evening. Paula Dennison with Development Services. What we have before you this evening is a request for a cell tower located at 5601 North Washington. The location of the property is outlined in the thick purple. It's a rather long, narrow piece of property. The building here at the front is Palmer Marler Carberry Funeral Home on North Washington. And you can see we added in an approximate little symbol of the location of the cell tower. We have checked with our airport director, Gary Johnson, and he sees no issues with the location due to the height of the tower. There's some findings for the tower. The reason for this specific use permit is any cell tower in excess of 75 feet needs an SUP, and that's one of the reasons for it. The SUP will also allow this cell tower to be located within 200 feet of residential property, even though that residentially zoned property is a platted out parcel for this addition. This is the piece of property right here that it's within 200 feet of. It's a stormwater detention area, not going to be built upon. So um, the code still very specific in the residentially zoned property, no matter the use of it. The properties around it, of course, are, are used and zoned for uh, <coughs> commercial uses and single family residential. Any questions? Any questions, staff? No, sir. No, it's time, Thank you. Okay, we'll open up the public hearing, and we do have uh, one request to speak is Reagan Hicks. I'm here. I, okay. I don't really need to speak other than if, if I had to answer questions. OK, if we've got questions, we'll call on you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we do not have any other requests, and so we will close the public hearing. Now, staff to come back up to give us planning commission's recommendation. 
Recommended approval unanimously. Thank you. Any questions of staff? Not at this time, Mayor. Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a couple seconds to approve Planning Commission's recommendation. That is approved five to zero. Thank you. Takes down to our second public hearing, which is brief comment regarding request for a map amendment from RTM to CG at 512 Southwest and 509 South Knobloch. Ms. Dennison. Thank you again. These two properties, again, are outlined this time in the bold red. You can see the one on the west is used as a parking lot. The one on the east is also used somewhat of a parking lot, but it's used for a residential property. This is the area that is zoned RTM. Sixth Avenue, Highway 51 is here on the southern portion of the picture that you're looking at. West, Knobloch, and this is the alley that runs in between. Currently the properties to the south are zoned and utilized for commercial purposes. The parking lot, we consider that commercial purpose as well. And the request is simply to take these two parcels and um, zone them general commercial in line with the uses in the vicinity. There are findings, they are represented in your report. Although the proposed zoning is not consistent with the comprehensive plan, it is consistent with the expected growth in the area, somewhat already used as commercial. Be happy to answer any questions that you may have regarding this request. Um, could you flip back to the picture real fast? Yes, sir. The parking lot on the west or the left of the picture, that's already being used in that manner. And so the rezone really is just conforming it to its use. Yes, sir. Any other questions? Not at this time, ma'am. We have good notice? Yes, sir. All right, wonderful notice. We do not have any requests to speak, but we'll go ahead and open the public hearing and close the public. I do see the applicant in the room. Does the applicant wish to speak? Nope. Okay. Sure for questions. All right. So we'll close the public hearing ask for planning commission recommendation unanimous approval on this one as well okay any other questions or comments mr mayor i would move approval second motion and second to approve planning commission recommendation and that is also approved five to zero thank you thank you I'll take us down to ordinances and on first reading ordinance 3245. Norman. Ordinance amending the Stillwater City Code by amending Chapter 23, Land Development Code, Article 17, Required Improvements, Division 3, Improvements, Section 23-358, Sanitary Sewer Collection System. Mr. Norman, these, these were both on public hearings on November 4th, is that correct? Yes, sir. Any other questions on this ordinance? Is there a motion? Move approval of ordinance number 3245. Second. Motion second to approve ordinance 3245 on first reading. Let's approve five to zero. And I'll take us down to ordinance 3246. Mr. Dorman. An ordinance amending the Stillwater City Code by amending Chapter 23, Land Development Code, Article 14, Commercial Use by Right, Section 23-282, Contents of the Application, Site, by amending Article 16, Subdivisions, Preparation and Requirements, Division 2, Major Subdivision, Section 23-325, Preliminary Plat, and by amending Article 19, Stormwater Management Regulations for Land Development Projects, Section 23-386, Drainage Studies and Drainage Plans. Any questions on this one? <laughs> Motion on Ordinance 3246. I move we approve Ordinance Number 3246 on the second reading. First reading. First reading. It's got I'm sorry, first reading, my mistake. Second. Motion by the Vice Mayor and second by Councilor Weaver to approve 3246 on first read. I 
just kept reading when I got to the end. <laughs> that is also proof five to zero. It's down to miscellaneous items. Mr. Dorman, do you have anything for us? Nothing to report tonight, sir. Galloway? Right. <clears throat> Nothing other than remind everybody we in the full swing of the holiday season. A lot of people have a lot of Christmas shopping still to do, even though we've already gone past Black Friday. And just a reminder, we've got a, a broader <clears throat> array of retail in Stillwater than ever before. Remember to shop at home. Support your local business people. So good of a time of year to do that, and uh, we would appreciate it. It also helps fund your local government. So uh, <coughs> shop at home and enjoy the holidays. Anything from the counselors? I would. Um, I'd just take a moment, apologize to staff and the public for not being present. Had some uh, some deaths in the family and uh, had to go and be with family. So uh, staff and, and uh, the citizens, you guys have my apologies for being absent. Anything else? Okay. Uh, tomorrow morning, Vice Mayor Hopkins will be on KSPI radio at 8.15, 7.80 a.m. And then on Wednesday, I will be on the radio, triple play, 105.1 a.m. at 7 a.m. So, all right, anything for upcoming meetings? Not at this time, man. Okay. Any questions or inquiries? Okay, it's going to take us down to appointments. And on the Oklahoma Technology and <coughs> Research Park Joint Board, uh, Chuck Thomas, a former city councilor, has served many years on uh, that board and uh, greatly appreciate his service to the community, both as city councilor and then also on this board. And his, his work on that board has been tremendous and we want to, to thank uh, Chuck Thomas tremendously for his help. Uh, but we are gonna, there's gonna be a change. And so uh, I would like to nominate uh, John McClenney, the director of external services to replace uh, Chuck Thomas on the OTRP board. As second. The second representative for the city. That's second there. Okay. Motion and a second. Point, Mr. McClain. That is also approved five to zero. Nothing else on the agenda. Is there a motion to adjourn city council? Second. Motion by Councilor. Noble and a second by the vice mayor to adjourn city council. Don't go anywhere yet. That is approved and city council is adjourned and we'll call to order the Stillwater Utility Authority's meeting for December 2nd, 2013. And on the consent docket are two items. Items A and B. Does anyone wish to remove item A or B? Not at this time, sir. I would move approval of the consent docket. Second. Consent docket. M motion and a second to approve the consent docket. And that is approved five to zero. And then takes us down to resolution with resolution SUA 2013-6. We, uh, before we consider the resolution, it's kind of unique, and I, th I think it would be good to have a brief report on it. I'd also like to take an opportunity to introduce a staff member you may not have <coughs> had the opportunity <coughs> to meet. Mr. Ian Groshon uh, is our uh, Convenience Collection Center Coordinator. Would you want to step up and tell us a little bit about the uh, latex change in the rules? Absolutely. I recommend. Uh, hello. Good evening, uh, Mayor. Council members, trustees. Um, again, uh, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity and you guys being here tonight. And uh, it's a privilege for me to be here. Uh, as again, uh, as uh, Mr. Galloway said, um, my name is Ian Groshon. I am the coordinator at the City of Stillwater Convenience Collection Center uh, for the Waste Management Div Division. Uh, tonight, I'm here to provide some background on paint recycling and seeking the approval to amend the uh, Convenience Collection Center rate structure. Uh, for the past two and a half years, I've had the privilege of operating the Convenience Collection Center. During this time, I've had the opportunity to interact with citizens and the community of Stillwater. And when uh, doing this, I try to find new ways our facility can make a difference and in turn, meet our citizens' needs. In doing this, we've been able to provide several new items 
to be recycled and properly disposed of at the convenience collection center. Uh, latex or water-based paints is one of the most consistently asked about products to be disposed of. Um, so for the past several months, I have been researching the options for recycling this type of material. I've been working uh, recently with a company by the name of Amazon Environmental out of Pryor, Oklahoma, um, and their paint recycling program. Uh, this company recycles water-based paints of one of two ways. Uh, if the paint is good, they will reuse it and resell it, so it gets reused. Uh, if the paint happens to be bad, uh, which is one thing that I have found that most companies, or actually I won't say most companies, there's not many companies out there that take bad latex paint, but they do. Uh, if the paint is bad, they will take this paint, uh, turn it into a powder mixed with lime, and is then sold to a concrete company that's right next door to them and it's used in the kiln, which to me is a fantastic process. It's an end use for the product but it is another use rather than it being landfill. So either way, uh, we are keeping the recycled paint out of the landfill, but not only is the paint being recycled, the containers are being recycled as well, which a lot of people won't take into consideration. Um, these are generally made out of tin or plastic, and either or can be recycled. So uh, doing this, we are keeping those from being landfilled as well. Um, now, even though anyone can dry out this type of paint at their house and throw it away in their regular trash. Uh, this recycling, recycling option will give our citizens the choice and an option to dispose of it, uh, dispose of the paint product without the inconvenience of drying it out at home, letting it sit in their garage for a couple of weeks, waiting on for it to dry out, <clears throat> and then uh, hoping it's dry out before they throw it in their trash. Um, I believe not only is this a great opportunity for our citizens, I believe uh, it will be another benchmark for the city of Stillwater to lead as an example for other municipalities and future recycling facilities to follow. And I thank you for your time, and I will ask uh, if there's any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to tell you, and you do a great job out there, I personally have been the yes. beneficiary of your services out there, and you do, you're you. doing a great job. Thank you, Mr. Running Lee. a pretty tight ship out there. Thank you, sir. Also wanted to ask you, are you related to Carlin Grishong? That is my beautiful mother. You better listen <laughs> to your mother. I do. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great lady. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. I have a higher opinion of you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> it got hot in here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, Mayor. That's all okay. Mayor. All right. So, and I guess my I guess my only question would be: I guess staff's recommendation is to approve resolution 2013-6. Yes. Okay. Add the latex recycling at the convenience center. Wonderful. Mr. Mayor, I would move approval. Second. Okay. Thank um, you. Thank you. I have a motion by Trustee Scott and a second by Trustee Noble to approve resolution 2013-6. Is approved five to zero. Okay. Do we have any reports or anything else from the trustees? Okay. I, I know I failed to say it during the council meeting, but I noticed that we have another group of representatives from Leadership Stillwater class. I believe it's 22. Yes. Oh, come on. 22. Oh. Thank there you. you Thank you. I won't report you. So thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Anything else from the trustees? All right, is there a motion to adjourn SUA? So, so moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Weaver and a second by Vice Chair. Let's prove five to zero and we are adjourned. Thank you. Awesome.